My name is Lynn Cruz and I am in my second year here at Oak Hills. I will be graduating in 2022 and I am in the Addictions Counseling Program. I ended up kind of coming to a point where everything was such a mess that I just surrendered my life to God and told him that whatever he wanted for me, I would do. Within a couple of weeks after that, I heard a announcement on the radio for the Addictions Counseling Program in Hibbing. Uh, first response was, well, that's kind of cool. I knew of Oak Hills, but I you know, didn't think any more about it. But I ended up hearing the announcement a couple more times. And then I ended up uh, basically having him say to me, you need to check this out, which is what I chose to do. And I came here to the campus. Uh, I left the campus. And that's basically how I ended up here. So here I am. I believe um, studying addictions counseling here at Oak Hills is um, a better fit for me than anywhere else would have been because I came in as an older student and I met with people ahead of time and I had um, even the younger students helping me as well as the instructors with um, just settling in and learning how to be back in school, write papers, do um, the work that was needed, uh, the reading and everything. It really for me was my job once I got here. I had left my job behind and this was not my job. So that part of it um, kind of ended up fitting. Also, I believe that in counseling, you need to have uh, faith and uh, spiritual life and um, know, know who I am in Christ and know uh, what he has done for me and to be able to share that with others. I've done that in um, some other share groups and I believe that that's a big part of counseling. I believe that Oak Hills is preparing me well for um, a career in addictions counseling because I am learning um, biblical backgrounds and increasing my faith and growing spiritually here. I also um, am learning a lot about addictions because I have a codependency background and not um, an actual drug or alcohol addiction myself, while I understand the effects of that on other people, I need to learn from others how that affects them, what their brain is um, thinking or how they're reacting to situations. And to have students in class that um, struggle with, have struggled with these things, um, as well as opportunities to go out in the community and learn more from uh, other people and how they find recovery, how they find healing. Uh, this has been a good experience.